Hi friends. Today we'll learn how to create a partition in rel 7. Let's try the first how to create a simple partition. Simple partition in rel 7. Before we start, I just want to give you overview about the partition file system and all. You guys know FAT32, those guys are not, you know, those are new in the Linux field. FAT32, 30, 32, sorry, FAT32 and um, NTFS, right? These are the Windows file systems. Windows file system. Okay. In Linux, we have ext2, ext3, and ext4, and ex and xfs. These are the Linux file system. Okay. So ext2 and 3 these are very old and just ext4 is also now old for rel7 but let's talk a little bit about ext4 and xfs okay what's the difference between both of them first of all we will talk about ext4 In ext4, number one, file size, file size can be from 16 gig to 16 terabyte. And maximum file system I mean the partition size file system size can be one hexabyte mm, it's like hexabyte so don't worry maybe a few people they never heard about the hexabyte Let's just uh, you know short it out. One hexabyte equal to one zero two four petabyte. Okay. And one petabyte equal to one zero two four terabyte and one terabyte equal to one zero two four gig okay and third a directory can contain a maximum of sixty four thousand subdirectories. Directories, which was thirty two thousand in ext three file system. Okay, so now we are talking about the ext four okay there is a lot of more features so i don't want to talk about that okay so let's come to the xfs in xfs file size can be 16 terabyte to 
six in hexabyte and file system sixteen terabyte to eighteen hexabyte. Okay, one disadvantage of EXFS drawback we can't we can can't reduce file system which we can do in EXT four. Okay. So now let's start a practical. Today I will tell you how to create a one simple partition in XFS. Okay. And in the next video we will talk about the Allium in the detail. So this is my system. Let me open my server. I hope it is visible for everybody. Right at okay. First, I'll let me check my hard disk. I have a separate disk with a five five gig, and so I'm going to create one partition. F disk is a utility which is used to create a partition in Linux, right? And one more thing, XFS is the default file system default file system in rel 7 and in 6 and rel 6 was ext4 okay okay f does as a utility which is used to create a partition you can use a man command to use what kind of option we can use and how we can use and all right you know if you want to be export in a Linux you have to just to make a habit to read a man page there are a lot of things in a you know man page okay even very less people has this kind of habit okay now I have to create a dev sdb as you can see this is my new disk so i will give it dev dev is a driver file and where is the one device sdb i press enter it say m for help i press m it say these are the different different type of options which we can use so you can go through all the options but here i'm going to use this one add a new partition i press n so now you can see guys it's a primary partition one extended partition as all of you know in one operating system we can create maximum four primary partition and one extended partition and logical partition can be unlimited it's dip upon to your extended but extended partition never store any data is just store the data of logical partitions okay here we're going to create one primary partition okay it's asking the partition number I set one it's asking for the sectors which sector to which sector so I recommend you just leave it blank because it's very hard to you know find out like which sector to which sector would be the how much GB right so leave it blank in the next sector now you can give the plus sector also you can size also right so by default your sector will be start like this 2048 value okay okay now I set one 
you can see here guys if you want to give the size in kb you have to type capital k and if you want to um, specify your part files partition size in mb you have to specify capital m and if you want to use in gigabytes you have to use z okay so i'm going to use gig and one gig and then i press oh my bad i press one this this okay one partition set now use p oh my partition is created you can see p for print it will print your partition okay now what next press w w stands for save the changes i just save the changes okay now it's i'm using a part so there is a another option it's but in the reddit 7 you use a part text hyphen a tab stb sorry my bad now you can see okay one partition is created in rel 6 we use a part probe in reddit 7 we use a part x now you can see but part probe also run no that's not a problem just they you now they you know force people has to use part x okay so my partition is create but i have to format my partition like you guys used to do in windows okay xfs dot you can press star press tab you can see ext2 ext3 ext4 and xfs also okay here so we are going to use xfs this and sdb1 okay why i select one okay let me show you guys f disk hyphen l you can see guys here b is your complete 5 gig hard disk but i create one gig partition in that that stands slash dev as the b okay so what i have to do now let's just create um, format this file system is um, xfs stand down as the b okay one wow our file system completely formatted if you can see that the view of formatting the file system is completely different as compared to when you format a file system in a ext4 okay so after that what you have to do let me create one directory where i have to mount it slash data actually in linux you cannot access any device until you cannot you will not mount it right it's required a container where you can mount it and then you can use it like i have now one gig file system but i cannot use it until i will not mount it okay so now let's me mount it it is in sdb1 slash data okay my file system is mounted now you can see here sdb okay one gig slash data but when i reboot my system it will this entry you will not find this entry because for permanent mount we have to specify it in a particular directory file what is that file it's the uh, etc fs tab in a, we using a vi editor right 
okay so go on another file press o you come in the next line okay slash dev slash sdb one slash data xfs defaults zero zero first is the device name another is, second is the mount point name this is the file system which file system you're going to use this is the option default option like when your file system mount which permission should it should have like uh, read write write on all these things and these two oh what stand for that with the one for fs check when your system you boot do you want to fs check your file system and then second is the dump of your file system okay okay let me save this file okay now you can see there is a it is already mounted let me unmount it data and let me press and mount okay my bad why now you can see guys it will mount it successfully earlier it give you error why because sc linux is on my system so i request you always disable sc linux and ip tables because when you create a partition so your system will looking for a uh, sc linux context on your partition right and so you have to enable all multiple sc linux booleans for your particular partition and the mount points and all so to save your time just disable sc linux okay and you can see how can you it's sc linux in config this here is an enforcing then is disable disable save it when you reboot your system automatically your sc linux will be disabled okay so this was the practical how we can create a partition in linux thanks to watch our video if you find this video helpful please subscribe our channel technical tech in the next video we will tell you how we can create a different partition like lvm partition and we will talk about what's the difference between lvm and a simple partition see you in next video guys